Welcome to the video, everybody. Here in a moment, I'm getting ready to go outside, and when I go outside, I'm going into my yard, and I'm going to plant some potatoes. Some potatoes that are spored, and are ready to potentially produce more potatoes when I put them in the ground. But there's something that you should know. If you're not really experienced with cooking and you know being a chef, uh, things like that, and you might not really know some things about certain things that you should or should not eat. And in this scenario, I wanted you to know about this and how this potato could potentially kill you if you eat it. All right, so what we're looking at here is a couple of potatoes that have spores growing off of them. I've had them in the house for a little too long, almost a couple weeks now, and they're actually ready to plant because of this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them outside, I'm gonna chop them up into smaller sections, and I'm gonna place the spores face up about two to three inches underground, and we're just gonna see whether or not they're gonna grow for us. We're not gonna do anything fancy. I'm not starting a uh, official garden. The reason why these potatoes can kill you is uh, it's not just because of the spores, but it's actually because of when you peel these, you're gonna see a green inner coating underneath the uh, uh, skin itself. When you have a potato, and it's not just potatoes, it's other, uh, other vegetables in the same family, these things have their own protective mechanism. And basically what it is, is a neurotoxin. And when you have a potato that has green parts or is green underneath the skin, when you uh, go to peel it, what you're looking at is an area of that potato where this neurotoxin flourishes and becomes more. Now, obviously it's almost like a natural pesticide because pests are going to get into this potato and try to eat it and they're going to die because they're going to have a neurotoxin in their system. This toxin is actually also bad for humans and consumed in large quantities. And by large, it doesn't have to be that large. Um, I think they say if you ate a pound worth of a potato uh, that was affected with this, um, with the you know the green area, which tells you that the neurotoxin is present, that is enough to make you know a, a normal size adult sick. And in larger quantities than that, it could even kill them. It can cause heart problems. You know, for the most part, just a, a small dose of this neurotoxin could cause you know like gastrointestinal effects, you know, diarrhea. Uh, things like that, just you know, some real bad things in your gut. But again, if you're consumed in larger quantities, being what it is, it will also cause, you know, on top of that, heart problems. It can cause, you know, neuro issues and it can even cause death. This neurotoxin is known as solanine. So the next time you're cooking a meal and you're trying to make some mashed potatoes or something, uh, just if your potatoes look like this, if they look like they're starting to sprout, even if it's just, you know, little small sprouts like that, um, and you start to peel it and you see some green under there, it's best to just throw the potatoes away, you just start again, go to the store, get some more potatoes. They're cheap, but um, they're actually incredibly dangerous if you wait too long to eat them. So now I'm gonna go outside and I am going to plant these toxic potatoes and they're gonna grow me more potatoes, hopefully, um, and I'm gonna eat those before they become toxic. You all be sure to have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.